Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Tangem wallet to trade on the Base network, which is the new network sponsored by Coinbase that is faster and cheaper than the Ethereum network. We're going to use a special technology called Wallet Connect, and using that technology, we will connect our Tangem accounts to the Rabi wallet so that we can trade Base tokens. So let's Let's jump in. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do in order to trade base tokens using our Tangem card is to go into the Tangem app and enable the base network. They've just recently enabled support for the base network, so let me show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. We just go down to the bottom and hit Manage Tokens, and then we're going to go to our US dollar coin. All right, and then we'll tap that little down arrow next to the US dollar coin. And as you can see, all of the different networks they support for this stable coin. We'll go down to base and just tap that to enable. And then we'll hit save changes. Notice there's a couple of tokens that pop up. Uh, the US dollar coin on the base network is down here at the bottom. I'm not sure why, but most likely because it's empty, right? Anything with a balance is going to bubble up to the top. But also notice this token here called base, and it has a balance because I have been using this before. That is the version of Ethereum on the base network. The Tangem wallet delineates that as a separate token from Ethereum, but it's basically just Ethereum. Notice it has the exact same price as Ethereum, right? And they're right next to each other. But the balances are different because they are two different networks. So let me show you how to fund the wallet, and then we can get started trading on the base network using Wallet Connect and the Rabi wallet. So let's go over to our Coinbase account. Notice in my Coinbase account, I have some US dollar coin. We're gonna use this to make our purchases. And then I also have some Ethereum, and this is what we're going to use to pay for our blockchain fees once we've got everything set up. We need Ethereum in the wallet for our transfer fees and our trading fees. Uh, but we don't need a lot because trading on the base network is really cheap. Ethereum in a base wallet is the juice for our gas fees. So let's go ahead and put this into our Tangem wallet. So what we need to do is get our address over to our desktop from our phone. So all we need to do is go into the, uh, we can go into the base here and just do a receive. And that's going to give us our address. We can hit the share and that way we can share this address with ourselves. So we'll have access to it from our desktop. So I'm going to send myself a Gmail. I just sent myself this address. We can even double check that, right? You can see that these addresses match. All right, I'll copy this into my clipboard and I'll go over to my Coinbase account. And the first thing I'll do is withdraw the Ethereum. So I'm just gonna click right on the word Ethereum so I get the little line under it. That takes us to the account interface. I'm already on send, I'll just send the max. Uh, as I mentioned, you don't need that much Ethereum, so, and if you've got a large amount of Ethereum in your Coinbase account, uh, don't send large amounts unless you've done a small test first. It's uh, just best practice. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and send this $20 worth of Ethereum. Now, here's the important part. Right down here where it says two, we need to select our network and our recipient. So we'll click here and we'll choose base. This is the important part. We hit, we wanna make sure we hit base. We'll acknowledge that and then we'll paste in the address that we just copied into our clipboard. You can see I've used this before. We'll hit preview send and look over the transaction uh, make sure that you've got the address there and that you're on base and then go ahead and hit send now. All right, and you can see that that's gone out. And then if I refresh my Tangem wallet, 
you can see that my base balance went up. So it's really Ethereum. We just put it on the base network, and that's why the base balance on my Tangent wallet has gone up. Now I have plenty of uh, Ethereum in this wallet for fees. All right, now uh, let's go ahead and put that US dollar coin in there so we can make some purchases. We'll go back to our portfolio. Let's go to our US dollar account. We can just click here right on the word USDC. That takes us into the account interface. We've got send. Let's just put $100 in there for now. Uh, once again, we want to make sure that uh, when we click select network and recipient that we choose base. All right, base is free. I'll paste this address in. It's the exact same address that we just used for our Ethereum tokens. I'll go ahead and send that over. Off that goes, and then I'll just do a quick refresh of my Tangem wallet, and you can see that the US dollar coin has now arrived in my wallet. All right, now we're ready to do some trading on the base network using Rabi Wallet. Uh, if you don't have Rabi Wallet set up yet, I've got a, a setup video for trading on the base network using uh, the Rabi Wallet. I'll put a link to that up in the description. I'm also going to put a link in the description for my Tangem Wallet setup video. If you're just getting started, you can refer to those two videos to get yourself up and running. All right, so we have our Tangem Wallet and we have our Rabi Wallet. We need to connect those two. We're going to choose uh, up here in the right, the new wallet icon. We're gonna go down to connect mobile wallet apps and we'll choose wallet connect. It's going to give us a QR code. And then in our Tangem wallet, uh, we're going to go up to the very top there where you have those three dots. We'll tap there and we'll choose wallet connect. You should see no sessions if this is the first time you've done this. You'll hit the plus here, and then just go ahead and scan in that QR code, and now you've started a session. We'll hit start, and uh, we've got the session connected. Uh, I know it just kind of disappeared, but we'll be able to reconnect, no problem. Uh, you can name this whatever you want, uh, but I'll just call it Tangem iOS and hit done. Now I've got this new wallet that I can trade from, and you can see that the balance reflects what we just put into our Tangem wallet. So now we have a mirror image of our Tangem wallet here, and notice here that the Brett showed up. If we go back over to our uh, Tangem wallet, you can see that that Brett token does not show up in my Tangem wallet. That's fine, right? Uh, we could manually add that in the Tangem wallet, but uh, really we can manage all these uh, base tokens from the Wallet Connect interface, right? So we don't need to worry about that too much right now. But I just wanted to point out that Rabi Wallet automatically detects any base tokens that you may already have in your wallet, right? So uh, we'll buy a little more Brett token um, because it's the top meme coin on base right now. So let's go over to CoinGecko. Uh, we can even do a quick Google search on base meme tokens or base meme coins. And the top hit is going to be CoinGecko. So if we click here, uh, we can see the top tokens on the base network. These are the meme tokens. There are also utility tokens on the base network. Um, but I'm just giving you a quick example here. So let's say we do want to buy some Brett token. Uh, we want to make sure that we're getting the real Brett token and not some cheap imitation. We'll click here. We'll go down to the contract address and we'll copy that into our clipboard. All right, let's go back to the Rabi wallet. And we'll go to swap. We'll choose our US dollar coin as the uh, coin that we're gonna use for our purchases. And then over on this side, we'll paste in the contract address of that Brett token. All right, let's use $20 here. Let's hit get quotes. All right, and the best deal they found is on one inch. 
All right, the first thing we'll need to do is approve US dollar coin. So uh, we'll click that. We'll hit ignore all, we'll hit connect. Let's scan that QR code in again. Let's hit start. Sometimes it loses the connection. You'll have to reconnect. Let's hit begin signing process. We've got our card here. Let's hit sign and send. We'll bring the card to the back here. And click OK. And we've signed the transaction. All right, now it wants us to execute the trade. We'll hit begin signing process for the actual trade. It's going to need us to sign this transaction with the hardware. The card has the private key. We'll hit sign and send. We'll bring the card to the back of our phone. We'll click OK here. And then uh, we can check our Rabi wallet. And lo and behold, uh, we've just purchased some Brett. All right, now we have uh, more Brett. Uh, let's try one more coin. I've got this Boomer coin down here that I got as a, an, an airdrop. So uh, let's put a little more in here. We can just go to CoinGecko and look it up. All right, and uh, we'll need to get that contract address one more. So we've got the coin that we want on CoinGecko. We get the contract address. Uh, let's go over to the Rabi wallet. Let's do swap one more time. And this time on the uh, two side, we'll uh, paste in the Boomer address. And there's the coin. Let's do another $20 worth. We'll hit get quotes. All right, this time it's got one inch. Uh, we'll have to approve US dollar coin again. Let's hit approve. Uh, we'll choose begin signing process. And in our app, it's going to ask us to sign and send, so we'll need the card. We'll tap sign and send. We'll bring the card to the back of the phone. And we've approved US dollar coin. Now we want to execute the trade. So we'll hit begin signing process. Our app is going to ask us to sign and send. It wants the card. We'll, hit, we'll tap sign and send and bring the card to the back of the phone and scan it for authorizing that trade. And then we can check our Rabi wallet again. And there you see that we've got that uh, Boomer coin. We could do this with any of the coins that we're interested in. And uh, do your own research. Make sure that uh, it's a coin that you've thoroughly researched. You know you want the coin. And anytime you want to trade for a particular coin, just make sure that you uh, check out the coin and get its base contract address. Notice here that this coin, Wormhole, is on more than one chain, right? They've got the Solana chain. If you see the three dots, all you have to do is click on the three dots, and then you can see the various chains that uh, this token lives on. So make sure you get that base contract address. And then you can go over to Rabi, uh, do your swap, and search for that coin by contract address. Make sure you get the base version of that coin. Uh, so I hope that this tutorial helped you to uh, navigate some of the uh, benefits and pitfalls of trading on the base network using your Tangent Wallet and the Wallet Connect feature that allows you to connect to the Rabi Wallet. Now, uh, one thing I will also point out if we go back to our wallet, you can see there that I don't have, uh, I, I'm not seeing those tokens that I traded for. There's no reason to panic, right? You can clearly, clearly see them uh, in the uh, Rabi interface and they're, they're mirror images. They're the same wallet. So don't panic if you don't see them in your Tangent interface. And if we decide that we want to cash out, we just use the Rabi wallet. If we go back to Wallet Connect, 
Let's say we decide uh, we want to cash out and sell one of these tokens. Well, we just go into Rabby Wallet. All right, and let's say we want to sell the uh, Brett token, for example. We'll go to Swap, and uh, we'll swap from Brett back to US Dollar Coin, for example. And uh, we'll just go ahead and sell the entire balance. We'll do a get quotes. We can trade this on one inch. All right, they're, they're warning us that we might not get the best price. All right, we'll approve Brett for trading. Now we'll click begin signing. And then it's going to ask us to sign and send on our in our app. We'll hit sign and send and we'll need the card. Here we go. All right, we'll click OK. Now we're going to do the swap back to US dollar. We'll hit begin signing. We'll choose sign and send in the app and put the card to the back of the phone to authorize the transaction. We'll hit OK. And then you'll notice in the Rabby wallet that we've successfully converted that coin back to dollar coin, right? And that we'll be able to see in the Tangem app and our US dollar coin balance has gone up back up to 260. It is a little tricky, but for those of you who have Tangem wallets, you don't have any other hardware wallets and you want to um, self custody these coins with the protection of the Tangem hardware wallet, then this is a great way to trade base tokens. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.